because I'm going on a city trip to London and we were laughing because look at my suitcase. <laughs> okay, remember, five days, five days to London and this is what I'm bringing with me. <laughs> we're going to Yelk which is the Young Adult Literature Convention, together with Britt, Leonie, Leora, and Michelle. I need to leave within 15 minutes. So yeah, I'm very excited. I'm nervous, but let's go to London. Bye. <laughs> Hi, it is Sabine from a couple of days later and as probably maybe a lot of people during Yelk, I really forgot to film some talkative updates. So that's what I'm here for. I'm talking you through the vlog. <laughs> so the event itself, maybe you have seen a couple of comments online or from my other friends who went to Yelk too. The event was not as well organized as I wished it to be. So that was definitely a frustration point that we will get to throughout this vlog. So day one. I'm traveling to London. Here we go. Say the same thing. So what a beautiful concrete wall. <laughs> Stunning. The Netherlands. So good. I wanted to grab your hands, but already. <laughs> gonna get a full English breakfast yes. today. Oh my God. What are you looking forward to the most with the breakfast? Beans on toast. <laughs> yeah, is yeah. that your thing? I love that. Um, and today we're also gonna go and meet Jody and Kat and maybe Joel. Yeah. Maybe, and Kat's sister. Oh, okay, and we're gonna go book shopping and going through a walk along the South Bay. Yeah. Brit knows the route. Brit is the, how do you call that? Tour guide. Yeah, Brit is the tour guide. <laughs> our mom of the trip. <laughs> she took us on a walk to like Tower Bridge and South Bank along the Thames. We visited Borough Market, which, oh my gosh, it is so pretty, yet so expensive, but you have all of this like lovely food, beautiful vegetables and fruit. It just makes me feel so inspired to cook something wonderful for myself. And it just looks so cozy. up with Jody, Kat, and Emily. Those girls, they are, they were so nice and so sweet and it was amazing to finally like meet them in real life and hug them. I, I am a huge hugger, so if you ever meet me in real life, like I will hug you to bits and pieces. <laughs> and then we have a bunch of other people over here. Look, it's Tasman. Tasman, wave to you like that. <laughs> Do you also want to wave to my video? Oh, yeah. Hi! Yes, I want to wave for you. No. Okay. And some new faces too. Oh, yes. these are old not, faces. Not a new face. Old face. <laughs> we went on a picnic in Hyde Park and we met even more people, which was so lovely. And there was actually like a little music festival going on there. I don't think I filmed anything, but they had some really good drinks. Day three, the first day of Yauk, we were so excited and curious to see what the event was like. There were just a lot of stalls filled with books. They had some really amazing bookish deals, but tip, wait until Sunday, until day three of Yauk to get even better 
deals for your books. And I got my book signed by Juno Dawson, who is literally one of my favorite authors. I kept on talking about Juno Dawson throughout the whole stay trip at Yauk. But Juno Dawson was really amazing. I really wanted to film my meeting with her, but then I already pressed play on the video and Leonie thought that I didn't. And when she thought that she was pressing play to film me talking with Juno Dawson and getting my book signed, she actually stopped the recording. And I literally have only two seconds of me with Juno Dawson, but the memory is here in the brain. Leonie. our book shopping and foils. We had dinner together with Diffia. It was so, so lovely to meet her. We went to bed and prepared ourselves for Yacht Day 2, which was our biggest disappointment. They did not have a big enough venue for Joel and Samantha Shannon. We really wanted to support them and we were such like in a bad mood after that. So we still looked at some books that we wanted to get, but instead of being like sulky at Yacht the whole day, we went to the Natural History Museum. And I'd never been there and in London in most museum, I think all of them are for free. So we took the opportunity. And after that, we hung out at the park because in the evening we were gonna go and have Chinese with um, a bunch of our booktube friends and we were gonna go out to a pub. So we really wanted to relax. to the last day of our trip. Yeah, again, we browsed through the books. We got some really good deals, went a little bit onto Comic-Con and that was actually it with Yao. We said goodbye to some of our friends and then in the evening, we met up with Gavin, Ashley, Cody, Becca, and Zafina. We got some nice drinks, we talked, we laughed, and it was actually the perfect evening for me to end this whole week because I spent it with friends again that I met online and I just had a wonderful and a really, really great time. So overall, despite Yalk itself, like the event not being the best, I honestly had a great trip. Let's be a little bit sentimental here. The thing is, if you would have told like 15 year old Sabine that she would go on a trip with her Dutch friends that she met through their like favorite passion, which is like reading books and meeting their internet friends in real life, she would have been wild. She would have been so happy. And I am honestly so, so grateful. Again, words just cannot describe how grateful I am. Yeah, I just had the best time and that was the vlog. <laughs> but this weekend, I will be uploading my Yak book haul because these are a lot of books. <laughs>